Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about a plugin for Premiere Pro that I think would be really good for especially people who are beginning and they don't know so many things, but they would like to get some uh, presets and stuff that they can use. This plugin is completely free. I've used this plugin for a while. Actually, they only introduced it for Premiere Pro recently but it's mostly been for after effects they also have a free package for that as well but yeah i think it's something that you'd want to check out so this is their website if you go to mrhorse.com they've got a bunch of things there some of it is of course paid stuff but generally you can try it for free and they've got some cool free things that you can use so that's what we're going to talk about in this video so once you have installed the plugin it's pretty straightforward i'm sure when you download it there'll be uh, directions on how to install it in your premiere pro i put mine in this window so uh, if you don't see it you can go under window and go to extensions and find premiere composer uh, that's the name for the premiere pro plugin by the way so i've put mine on this right panel and what you have for free is under the stutter pack once you start buying more products they'll be added on at the bottom here but you have a bunch of things here you've got text boxes so you know it'll give you like all these different presets so that you don't have to actually go and start animating things so for example i can click and double click on it or click and drag it onto the timeline and just like that you have an animated text box and you know you can pretty much edit this you can go here and say cooking well typo cooking tutorial you know just like that and of course you can change a bunch of things here you can change the color of the you know background change the red i don't know why you would want to do that but you get the gist you can change a lot of things you can change the font you can change if you want the corners to be rounded yeah there's there's a, there's a bunch of things you can do with it i won't go through all of it of course and then you've got text presets unlike the text boxes these are more like affecting your characters and and how text comes in so let's maybe try one out here i'll double click there and then you can edit everything you can edit the duration the scale all of that you can edit the text this is cool you know and then when you play it back it has that cool animation so these are nice animations that you you know you won't find coming straight in premiere pro and it's just nice to know that these are all free and then you've got transitions as well in premiere pro you have transition effects but not like these i actually like these ones and i use them quite a bit on some of my projects so for example you have a light leak so you can just drag and drop this between two clips that you'd want the transition to happen. So if I play back now, you see there's now that nice light leak and then you've got some nice zoom ones as well here and they do come with sound. Some of them do actually come with sound. So for example, this one comes with this sound. That's pretty cool. These are like really nice free effects. And then you've got like social media handles. This is something that I know a lot of people, especially who have, you know, YouTube channels or, or social media channels and would like like little presets, for example, like this one that says subscribe. And not everyone is able to use, you know, applications like After Effects and all of that. It would be nice to have, you know, something like this, you know, something so nice and simple. You can edit what text is there, subscribe, and then once it's clicked, you can edit it to say thank you you know so you know when it plays back click thank you just like that it's pretty nice and of course you can play around with the colors again like i showed you this is this is pretty cool you know for free stuff i must say and then you've got like different shapes as well that you can use if you want to use arrows to point to stuff i actually use some of these for my youtube by the way and then lastly, you also get like some sound effects. These are really nice, especially if you want to do a little bit of sound design on your on your videos. That's a swoosh. Yeah, so there are a couple of uh, different ones here, but I think this is a really good free plugin, especially again, if you are uh, a beginner starting out and you don't have skills to 
go and do text presets and animate text or do social media handles or animate arrows. And if you also don't want to go through the trouble of always looking for sounds to do a little bit of sound design in your videos, I think this is a really good plugin. And again, did I say it's free? It's free. So please do go check it out and download it from their website. Whether you have Windows or Mac, it will work on both. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and please do subscribe. My name is Z. Until next time. Cheers.